the myth, the man, the legend. We're really pushing the limits of all the equipment that we have. Other stuff that we have, obviously we've had ice, we've had snow. Even though we're indoors, all that ice snow is covering all of our rocks. We have to clean all that stuff off. We have to let it defrost. All of our materials are frozen. The soil, the mulches, the gravel, all that stuff. We have to bring it inside. We have to thaw all that stuff out. Day three, it's what, eight o'clock in the morning. So today what we're gonna do is we made some, first of all, we made some serious progress. And today we are gonna finish this whole sunken patio area. And that kind of be the goal by the end of today. And then tomorrow we can fine tune everything. everything. But Ed is here today, so I'm thinking we're gonna be done by noon. <laughs> because we got the master with right? us. Right? Yeah, so, I don't know about that. So you guys have done a phenomenal job. I can't believe the progress you guys have made in two days, but I know it's all that last 10% that takes a lot of time. So that will give us, you know, a lot of time to do all that little detail work which actually you've been doing I mean, you're dropping in the driftwood i see you got your lights in already you're putting in all the moss and all that stuff you know just hiding up those joints and that little stuff which is going to make this project just pop yeah we're gonna have a lot of cleaning <laughs> <laughs> there There's always, always is yeah so i'm thinking like from tomorrow noon time till whatever friday we got we'll have a lot of time to do Nice. We got some cool boulders that you guys got for us, so that always helps to make it look natural. Yeah, it totally does. I, I agree. It makes all the difference in the world. So I think one of the challenges right now is you were talking a little bit about access, right? So we're going to be blocking ourselves off. So we got to get that section done over on that back part before we start doing the steps and everything and working our way back this way. Yeah, it's, starting to get, it's getting tight. It's getting tight. It's getting really tight. You know, I, I stole Brian's rock and his tree and put everything out of the way. <laughs> no, but here, you know, that's, that's one of the limitations we had yesterday. Daniel was reaching out and it was getting a little soft. Over there. Yeah, so it looks like it. We just got a couple boulders over there and then set those start setting the steps. Nice. And then we'll dig out. But it's uh, just like a normal backyard. A lot of times you've got to work at one point and work your way out. And you know, ideally we'd like to work all the way around, but that doesn't have never. legend.
Explain some of the challenges we're facing right now. Uh, <laughs> always uh, same challenges on all jobs. Logistics. We got all this stuff built. We have side of the house and everything is over in this location. That section's backed off, so everything has to come through one location. So we've been systematically working our way out of the project. So this is becoming the pinch point. So everything's coming down to this last little section, but we're really pushing the limits of all the equipment that we have. Other stuff that we have, obviously we've had ice, we've had snow. Even though we're indoors, all that ice snow is covering all of our rocks. We have to clean all that stuff off. We have to let it defrost. All of our materials are frozen. The soil, the mulches, the gravel, all that stuff. We have to bring it inside. We have to thaw that stuff out. Other than that, you know, it's just uh, it's just time at this point. All right, guys. Right now, we're just finishing up rinsing down. Everything's pretty much rinsed down, and we can turn this feature on pretty soon. We just got to fill the pond up a little bit more and have it overflow into the basin. We got that stream rinsed down. And that's ready to go. All of this, we're just, we have all the hose in the opposite corners, flushing all the rest of the debris down so it's crystal clear so we can start this thing off. We have this huge rock that we put in because we're going to have that fire pit area right here and it's really a struggle because this machine alone will not lift it so they came in with a forklift and set it we're going to adjust it now and then we're going to be able to finish this right up because back here this is going to have one more element you're just going to have to wait to see got that massive stone in place and it looks awesome. I love the look of it from the home. It sets the stage for everything. And what I love about using large rocks, especially in the foreground, it makes everything look bigger in the background because when you see a massive boulder right in front of you and then it start getting smaller as you disappear in the background, it gives it more of a sense of depth. So whenever we're talking about water feature design and construction, it's all about illusions. We're trying to recreate a naturalistic water feature in a small urban backyard setting. So by doing all these different little strategies, we can really create that kind of that effect and now our next steps are going to be coming in here with a couple more big boulders we're going to get everything ready for that fire We just fired up the pumps. It looks incredible. I love the look of all this stuff, but now we got to tweak it. Whenever we're designing and building features like this, our margins of error are really, really slim. We have really tight sight lines between the patio. All the rocks dipping down, that's all part of that illusion that we're looking for. So when we're talking about a quarter inch of water, it makes all the difference in the world. So what we're doing right now, backing up water slightly in one area, opening up another area, just so we can get enough water flowing the way we want. I am back. Today we begin the final push here inside the sandbox with Decker's Pondscapes. I can tell you I am blown away at the amount of progress the guys made yesterday. The waterfalls, the pond, that is all up and running and it looks absolutely fantastic. What we have left to do is this area right behind me which is going to be that last waterfall weeping wall that Alan had in his design. I love the way they adapted the vision down here in this little fire pit sunken patio area. It turned out so awesome. So we have this piece to finish out 
finish off the backdrop here and then an enormous amount of cleanup and landscaping to finish off the rest of the project. So the final push is today, like I said, and I know we're gonna be able to get it done because we have many hands, and as you know out there, many hands make light work. Alan, I just filled our viewers in on as to what you're kind of working on, or at least what your intention is over here, but explain to me what's happening for the kind of the final push and what needs to still get done today. Well, right now, actually, everything's getting fine-tuned. We did really good in the last three days, so all the features are all running. We got one more waterfall to build. Over in this section right here, I've always wanted to do like a weeping type feature. Ed and I right now are gonna start building that. We got one more big rock to get in over here by the, this uh, fire feature, and then we're gonna get started on that waterfall. That's awesome.